Hi. Hey. Welcome to this week's broadcast. It's November 30th, 2018. I'm Alicia. Well, that makes me Alyssa. What is your favorite thing that you did in sixth grade? Operation Monstera. Oh, that reminds me. There's a segment about it. Tara, Jacene, and Sydney are making it. Want to see? Breaking news. Sixth graders are saving millions of lives on Monstera. From what you may ask? Well, I'm glad you asked. From deadly volcanoes, hurricanes, and earthquakes on Mount Strat, sixth graders have been working hard and to teens prepare themselves to save millions of lives. Well, let's go see two of them who have already done it. Let's go. This is Miss Foster, and we're going to be interviewing her about the monster. What's the purpose of this activity? This activity really gives students a chance to work on a project. Uh, it's based on something that really happened in real life. It gives them the chance to practice those teamwork skills, communication skills, um, working under pressure. Of course, they're learning a lot too about uh, natural disasters, volcanoes, hurricanes, making plans, responding to situations quickly. What's the most stressful part of this, and what's the most best part of it? Well, I think from the teacher's side, there's a, a lot of preparation that has to go into it. So um, that's really stressful. I know Mrs. Moore put in many weeks of work working on this, getting ready for it. And then for the students, they have to work under that time limit. So that's really stressful for them too. There's lives on the line in the simulation. But the, uh, the best part, seeing all that hard work pay off for the students because they spend a long time training and a lot of time working together, getting ready to do it. And then when they finally find success, I think that's really rewarding. Did you personally enjoy this? Oh, definitely. So it was so great seeing all the students step up to the plate. This is Ashlyn. Did you enjoy doing Operation Monster? I did because um, I got to work with people I don't usually work with. It was hard at some times, but it was really fun. What job did you have and um, how does that job work? Um, I had evacuation team leader, so it was kind of different than the others because I kind of had to like not boss around or like control, but like I had to help people stay on task. On the mission day, we have to evacuate everyone, make sure no one dies with the volcano and hurricane. Do you think your class did a good job? Um, I did think my class did a good job because every team had at least two wrong reports, which was actually really good because we had at least almost 20 reports in each team. Only really two wrong is really good. We all worked together really greatly. Back, Back to you, breaking news. Sixth graders have been put through multiple hard challenges, but as a team, they saved millions of people on this island. For yeah. more information, no. ask a sixth grader in the hall, or go to the science rooms in sixth grade and ask them. Well, that's your breaking news about the Operation Monster Rock. Back, Back to you, you, anchors! That was fun. I loved Operation Monster Rock. Yeah, what's your favorite kind of art? A What? Um... Anyways... What? The next segment is the Fine Arts Report by Quentin Taylor and Sophia. Oh, uh, any Thomason? Fine! Roll the clip. It's better than Alyssa can roll her eyes. Art, a masterpiece practiced through the ages. It is not only painter pottery, but it can be music profession, choir, and to act in the theater. Choir is the art of singing. It is also where you learn how to use your diaphragm. They also learn a lot about cultural music. They also sing some songs that are in a different language. Who is here to conduct the interview? It is I. I am here with Catherine Utley, and today we will ask her inquisitive, excellent, superb, conspicuous questions. What is your favorite piece of music? My favorite piece of music is the um, piece I'm working on currently for the um, recital. It's called 32 Feet and 8 Little Tails, and it's for Christmas, and it's you know, really bouncy, and it goes high and low, and it's very dynamic, and it's just really fun to play. Why do you enjoy singing? I enjoy singing a lot because it gives me a way to express myself, not only through you know talking, but being able to listen to music and then able to contribute to that music with my own voice. What made you join choir? Um, I've been in choir for forever. Mostly it was me wanting to really show off what I can do and express myself, but also because Dr. German is amazing. <laughs> Choir is an amazing experience to express your talents beyond what you are comfortable with. Lots of students work very hard to perform their best. I can't wait to see what they come up with. 
Now, let's talk about another type of art, band. That is what's next. Band is an expression of art taking a new form. Music inspires everyone, unless you live under a rock. We are going to ask questions about band since I don't know much about instruments. Today I have brought a special guest, Chang Ren. Have you ever played an instrument before? Yes. Um, my favorite instrument is trumpet because like, it's really fun for me to play and I'm kind of good at it. What do you enjoy the most about band? Um, like playing the instrument like, and playing like different songs about it. How much do you practice at home, be uh, honest? About like 30 minutes a day. Um, about like, and 40 minutes in the weekends. Band is a fabulous opportunity to perform musical pieces in front of a large sum of people. It may seem alarming at first, but after you get used to it, playing a trumpet can be very enjoyable. Knowledge is the wing wherewith we fly to heaven. William Shakespeare. Drama is the art form of acting, like a William Shakespeare play. Our peers will perform on the stage. The burning spotlight baits small fry onto the platform of stardom. I personally have never acted in a play before, but I imagine that it is a very tough task. It looks like a lot of fun and will be very rewarding at the end. I am very proud of all young actors out there. Huh? I guess I lost track of time. I know I had a very fun time learning about the fine arts. Back to you, anchors! That's cool. Now I know what the other classes are doing. Yeah, I guess. What did you do on Thanksgiving break? Well, my family was being starfish and taking pictures of me. Weird. Anyways, speaking of photos, the photo slideshow is next. Wait, are Aiden, Bryce, and Mason doing it? Yep. It's them. Let's watch. Okay. teaching for six years. He had turkey and sweet potatoes and mashed potatoes and a chocolate pecan pie. My regular classes are doing scale drawings and my advanced class is finishing up expressions. In my free time I like to do a lot of knitting and crocheting. Um, I like to bake and I like to play the switch with my kids. At teaching is a great job. I love that I can come in and do what I love and laugh every day. Um, I would say right now in the Christmas season, I love the movie Elf. It's so funny. In Reach class, we do a lot of homework help. Um, we've had a while where we played some awesome games on Tuesdays, um, and we like to watch the broadcast on Fridays. Uh, I found those in my classroom when I moved in here, and I just sort of put them on the board, and they became like little text bubbles for the students to use. Um, I would say I love the entire Harry Potter series. Um, I grew up with them coming out and it was awesome waiting for the next book to be released. My favorite song, I don't have a favorite song, but I do really like the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Thank you for your time. Now I know more about Mrs. Vaziano. Cool, right? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Which is better, shoes or socks? What? Um, haven't you heard? There's a debate. Dummy Moana, are you living under a rock? Yet again, you haven't failed to confuse me. Whatever, just play it. Mahabin, welcome to the debate segment. It's debatable if it's even good quality. Today, two people will debate on which is better, Marvel or DC. Marvel and DC are massive corporations that own many characters, movies, and TV shows. Stan Lee, who sadly passed away this month, created Marvel with Jack Kirby. Malcolm Wheeler Nixon, created DC. The characters in Marvel include Iron Man, Hulk, Captain America, Spider-Man, who's Dust? 
some of the DC characters are Batman, Superman, Flash, Wonder Woman, Aquaman. The rules are no profanities, no physical violence, and no harsh words. Only state your opinion and use only the facts. Um, so Marvel has a lot more action and it kind of has the characters making sense in it. Like, you know, you have like Spider-Man and he's like, he's got more, you know, his self, but then when you hit DC, it's kind of like Superman's invincible, but to one thing, and you have like Batman destroying everybody. Marvel copyrighted a lot of characters from DC, and plus DC had explosions. Different characters that actually make sense, man. When Batman was fighting Joker, they made that they made that with Iron Man and Doctor Doom in one of the shows, and I was depressed, man, because they basically copyrighted the whole thing. Let's explain how Marvel could get Batman against Captain America. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, but. Captain America would lose because Batman has the actual smarts. Yeah, that's all I need to say. Okay, so Marvel is better just because and DC sucks. DC is better because we have more Batman fans. No. No. And who's a better fan than Marvel? Well, I'm, I'm the biggest fan, but GC just sucks. How does it just suck? You gotta give me information. No, it just sucks. We have better quality cameras. We have better superheroes. We have Aquaman. We have the other guy that has a shield. Um, there's nothing I can really say to change it. Though, Marvel's better because it's better. DC is better because of Batman. No, Marvel's better. No, you can't say that because yeah, we have yes, better Yes, I can superheroes. because Marvel's better. No, no, you can't just keep on yeah, saying no, that. No, yes, Marvel's no, better. No, because it's better DC television. has better, better television. Yes, we have better shows. We have no, more people that no. want to come to our It's better. It's better. Television. Mm -hmm. There is no better television. Yes, you just have a spider is. guy that goes around and swinging his webs everywhere. You only have... And that is better television. No, it's yeah. not because you have to have uh, you have good quality superheroes, you have good quality movies, and you have more people that like more superheroes on DC. No. We have more comics too, so that even proves something better about us too. I don't care about all those. It's just better. I, it, it can't be better. DC is 100% better than it, any other no. movie. No, no, it's not. It's better than Marvel. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, yes, it is. Nope. Yes, it is. Nope. Yes, it is. Nope. No. And that yes. was our debate, folks. <laughs> and now, the nominees of the best debate for Marvel versus DC. In Marvel, we have Anna and Taylor. And in DC, we have Amato and Tabor. And now, on to the final results that were definitely, absolutely, not decided by a wheel. And the winner is a tie between Anna and Tabor. That was the first annual Marvel vs. DC debate. I congratulate the two winners. They accomplished much. Back to you, Back to you winners. <laughs> well then, Marvel or DC? Marvel. Rest in peace, Stanley. Yeah, that's some sad news. Speaking of news! I'm sorry. Anyways, the advanced broadcasting class wrote some world news stories. Maybe that will help me settle down after that was real scared. <laughs> well, Hello everyone, I'm Rory Lewis with Skyview International News. Today we have many interesting news stories from around the world to share with you. Over in the Middle East, ISIS has struck again. On November 2nd, 2018, militants of the Islamic State, where ISIS is their popularly known as, attacked two buses of Egyptian cops, a religious group that mostly lives in Egypt and North Africa. 
They were on their way to the monastery of St. Samuel for a festival. The gunmen fired on the two buses, killing seven and injuring 19. This is the second attack to happen on this route in over a year, the first happening in May of 2017. 19 militants who worked for ISIS have been linked to the ambush. The militants claim that they attacked the pilgrims because of their support of Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, the president of Egypt. Sisi has promised to put a Christian safety first, as Christians in Egypt are the minority and make up about 10% of the population. ISIS does not like President Sisi, as he has promised to get rid of them. They often face discrimination and attacks like this are not uncommon. The last attack included two bombings of a similar group of Christians at two different monasteries. These attacks were also committed by ISIS militants. ISIS attacks like this are very common in Egypt, and although the Egyptian government has promised to crack down on these militants, it hasn't been very strong. Over the years, tighter security has been put around Christian places of worship, and the Egyptian authorities have captured ISIS militant commanders, including one captured last month in Libya, which has led to less attacks. Recently, a helicopter crash occurred in Leicester City, United Kingdom. There were five victims in the crash. On the 27th of October this year, after a Leicester City football club game at King Power Stadium, which is around 100 miles from London, United Kingdom, a helicopter crashed. The owner of the club, Vichai Shravana Havrava, along with four other people, died in the crash. The helicopter was the owner's, which he used for transport. This is the first crash that has involved this helicopter model, the AW169. The helicopter took off from the field after the game at King Power Stadium. The back rotor lost power, disabling the pilot's ability to turn the helicopter. The helicopter spun out of control until it hit the ground and burst into flames. All five people on board were killed on impact. Those who passed away included Vichai Shivdana Paraba, Nusara Sukhanamai, Cave Porn Punpair, Eric Swaffer, and Isabella Rosa Wachelwich. Shivdana Paraba was the owner of the Leicester City FC, and the two pilots were Eric Swaffer and Isabella Rosa Wachelwich. Kate Porn and Suk Namai were the two members of the Chai staff. Many of the top players from Leicester City visited a Thai temple in honor of the owner of the team. Additionally, many tributes were left outside the stadium, including flowers and Leicester City championship garments. Tributes continue to pour in around the stadium. The Leicester City players wore tribute jerseys for one game. There recently has been talk of a statue of the owner being built. The company who built the helicopter, Leonardo SPA, offered to help in the investigation of the crash. Hopefully light will be shed on the incident to prevent further crashes. Next up, trouble in Turkey has emerged. Jamal Khashoggi, a contributor to the Washington Post, disappeared on October 2, 2018, at the Saudi consulate in Istanbul, Turkey. He was later reported dead by Saudi officials. People in Nigeria have been protesting for the Islamic movement of Nigeria. The Nigerian police attacked this crowd during these protests, leaving 45 people dead. People in Nigeria have been protesting for the Islamic movement of Nigeria. The Nigerian police attacked this crowd during these protests, leaving 45 people dead. In Nigeria, the Nigerian police unloaded their guns into members of the Islamic movement of Nigeria that were protesting. These members were protesting the release of their leader, Ibrahim Zakowski, and other displaced members. 
These displaced members were jailed because of an earlier attack in 2015 led to the Nigerian army to believe that Zagzaki was trying to assassinate the chief of army staff. This resulted in Sheikh Ibrahim Zagzaki's arrest. After the shooting, at least 45 members of the IMN, the Islamic Movement in Nigeria, were found dead. During the protest, the rally of IMN members were armed with petrol bombs, guns, knives, and rocks. Because of them being armed, 400 members of the INM were arrested and taken into custody by the Nigerian army. The Nigerian army only knew of rocks being thrown at them. The bombs, guns, and knives were found after the shooting. This all took place in Abuja, the capital of Nigeria. When the news of the IMN's outcry got out, multiple websites and news articles had their own opinion on this event. In fact, Amnesty International, which is a group of people who focus on human rights as well as rights of protesting, assumed that the protests were peaceful and shooting them was wrong. Right after the shooting, the Nigerian army predicts that only six of the protesters died, while in the end, 45 people were found dead. Although the Nigerian army had guns, they thought of the IMN similarly to their rifles. After the Nigerian army unloaded at the group of protesters, the Nigerian army posted the video of Trump stating, when they throw rocks, consider it as a rifle. They captured this video with the phrase, please watch and make your deductions. They posted this because of many groups, including the Amnesty International, thought the protesters were peaceful. The Nigerian army ended up taking down this tweet just a while after posting it because they were given excuses to shoot residents of their country. Recently in the Java Sea, a Lion aircraft crashed. All members on board are assumed dead after the terrible flight failure. On October 29th, a plane crashed in Indonesia and killed 189 people. The Lion 737 MAX was carrying 189 people when it crashed only 13 minutes after takeoff. A black box from the jet was found by two divers is now being developed. This process can take up to six months while trying to get the information from the flight. Four other flights before this one have also had problems. This jet was not the only Lion Air jet to crash recently. In 2013, another jet crashed in the water off of the runway. The pilots who fly these type of planes are now being trained to deal with problems like what happened at this crash. Before crashing, the plane's pilots requested to turn back to the airport, but before they could get an answer, they lost connection. It is said that Lion Air Flight 610 was intact with its engine running when it crashed at high speed into the Java Sea. People think that jet might have crashed because the AOA had an error and the pilots then didn't know what attack angle they were in. There were no survivors in the incident. Divers are now trying to for find more pieces of the plane. They have found the black boxes and a small amount of other parts. Scientists and researchers say the top priority will be finding the cockpit voice recorder and flight data recorder to help determine the cause of the crash. More information is still being gathered about the cause of the crash. Thank you for watching tonight. This is Skyview International News with Rory Lewis. Have a great weekend and tune in again. Wow. That was informational. I haven't seen the news much. That helped me stay updated. Yeah, um, why is an 11 pronounced 1 2 1? What? We're wasting time. <sighs> well, the announcements are next if it helps. Yep, it is being made by Bryce, Aiden, and Mason. Okay, um, so are Abra's going to take a facial one? Do you want to cheer on basketball players and pump up the audience? Join Skyview Spirit Squad. Practice on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 3 to 4.30. The fee to participate is $10. If you have any questions, talk to Ms. Loxton in room 110. Girls basketball tryouts will be on December 13th and 14th, 7th and 8th grade, 3 o'clock to 5.15, 6th grade, 5.30 to 7th. December 10th, holiday costume, 11th, just like a holiday tourist, 12th, ugly sweaters, 13th, holiday colors, red, green, blue, 14th, holiday hats, a $1, this goes to the LA Flyers.
Those were some breaking announcements. Am I right? Gosh, stop saying that. Well, I'm excited to see the next segment. It's the credits next. Oh, um, um, hopefully Jack is last. Okay, roll credits. <laughs> Wow!